Hey guys, Songboy13 here. Uh, I just want to give you an update on what's happening with the UK weather um, throughout the course of the middle of this week. As we know, um, typical, just typical, while I'm doing my warning video. Um, as we know, I've already mentioned about this for weather the week ahead, uh, but I just want to mainly focus on potentially some severe weather that might be affecting parts of the UK Tuesday night and into Wednesday. As we know, we've got a plume of warmer air coming in from the continent affecting our region with high pressure towards the east or near east and low pressure towards the west, wind circulating in a southerly direction. So we're going to see initially, primarily, we'll see some drier weather, we'll see temperatures respectively into the mid 20s, maybe for some in like southern England, maybe high 20s as well. Uh, but on Tuesday night, um, when our low pressure gets closer by, we're going to start to see um, some storms affecting southern parts of England. Um, they're quite isolated at this stage, so not everyone will catch one. Some places will stay dry altogether. Um, but I want to give you a note a little bit early to give out what storms they may bring. But it's likely that we could see about 20 to 30 millimetres in an hour. Um, flooding is possible if you get caught in one of these storms. Lightning as well because of the humid air can be quite frequent. So these are the um, main ingredients we could see in these severe weather conditions. They're most likely to affect southern areas on Tuesday night and then drift their way northwards. So on Wednesday, the most likely areas hit by these thunderstorms will be parts of the East Midlands, parts of Wales, particularly southern areas because the highest temperatures could see the heaviest of the storms. Um, so probably um, from Manchester southwards, uh, we could see some quite heavy thunderstorms. So this is why I just wanted to point you out, guys. Some severe weather is likely with the main ingredients for some heavy downpours, which could bring some flooding, surface water flooding, 25 to 30 millimeters in the space of an hour. If we get caught for more than an hour, could be double that so flooding is possible um, the winds won't be too gusty we think at this stage uh, but it's generally the main ingredients is flooding torrential rain and possibly some frequent lightning as well so just want to warn you guys um, Wednesday could be quite a stormy and humid day not everyone will catch one some places will stay dry so I just want to give you the warning out guys for Tuesday night and into Wednesday I'll update you about it very soon all right uh, take care um, and for our region, we'll probably get about 50 to 60% chance of catching a storm. So, um, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, stay safe guys. Uh, more updates about it soon. Storm's now out.